These are barbaric reasons why a narcissist doesn't love his child, even abuses them. The bond between a parent and child is deeply valued by everyone, right? However, some parents with narcissistic traits have a strained relationship with their children due to their self-centered motives. Narcissistic parents prioritize their public image and the perception of being good parents, which leads to a complicated and harmful dynamic with their children. They view their children as possessions and objects, using them to boost their own image rather than establishing a genuine connection. The children are not seen as individuals with their own personalities who deserve the freedom to grow, explore, and make their own choices. Instead, they are treated as mere extensions of the parent's ego. In today's discussion, we will delve into seven reasons why narcissistic parents struggle to truly love their children. It's a common question. Do they truly love their children, or is it all a facade? Why do they pretend to be affectionate or involve themselves in their children's lives when their love is not authentic? While not all narcissistic parents exhibit these behaviors, some do. By the end of this episode, you will gain a clearer understanding of these complex dynamics. Make sure to stay tuned until the end. Reason number one, they seek control and compliance from their children. As children grow, especially between ages 3 and 15, they tend to question authority less. This phase makes it easier for narcissistic parents to mold their children according to their own desires. While this may be mistaken for genuine affection, it primarily stems from the parent's desire for control and obedience. The parent dictates the child's education, social circle, and every aspect that shapes their identity. The child becomes an extension of the parent, lacking their individuality. Any display of uniqueness or deviation from the parent's expectations is viewed as problematic, leading to alarm and potential attacks. Reason number two, their love is conditional. In the relationship dynamic between a narcissistic parent and their children, affection is highly conditional. While parental love should ideally be unconditional and accepting, love from a narcissistic parent comes with strings attached. It becomes transactional and based on the child's performance. The child is only deemed deserving of the parent's love and attention when they meet the parent's expectations and reflect positively upon them. Failing to meet these expectations can result in devaluation and even abandonment. Love and attention are often contingent upon the child fulfilling the parent's desires and requirements. Reason number three, they seek public approval through fake displays of affection. Narcissistic parents may show excessive affection towards their children when others are watching. However, these displays are mainly aimed at gaining admiration and approval from others. Privately, they may be distant and unengaged, this creates a confusing and damaging dynamic for the child, as they experience a stark contrast between their parents' public and private behaviours. The parent's primary motive is to appear loving and caring to others, rather than genuinely valuing their child's happiness and well-being. Reason number four, they play favourites and manipulate sibling relationships. Narcissistic parents often favor one child over others, using the favored child as a tool to control and manipulate their siblings. This favoritism is driven by a desire for dominance and control within the family. The parent becomes the puppet master, orchestrating dynamics and interactions to suit their needs. However, only the child designated as the scapegoat truly understands the manipulation and dysfunction within the family. Reason number five, they use children as leverage. Narcissistic parents employ their children as pawns to manipulate people and situations. Children are burdened with adult issues, forced to take on roles such as therapist or mediator. They may be used as weapons against the other parent. Even if that parent is also narcissistic, 
leading to a cycle of entrapment and suffering for the child. In many cases, the child may not even realize they are being used until the damage is done. The narcissistic parent exploits the child to gain power, sometimes showcasing them as an achievement for their own glorification. Reason number six. You're used to maintain a perfect family facade. Narcissistic parents have a strong desire to present an image of a flawless family. They obsess over their children's appearance, manners, and achievements as a way to demonstrate their parenting skills. However, this fixation on appearances leads to superficial relationships lacking true emotional connection. The parent treats their children differently, leading to the emergence of scapegoats, black sheep, and golden children. Golden children, who meet the parents' expectations and fulfill their goals, may lose their own identity in the process and may even become narcissistic themselves. Scapegoats, on the other hand, face criticism and abuse, receiving none of the fairness and equal treatment that should accompany parenting. Reason number seven, idealizing the toddler stage. Narcissists strongly prefer the toddler stage of their children's lives as it garners attention and compliments from others. The focus is on the parent's role during this phase rather than the child's actual development. This results in a shallow and self-centered form of affection. Narcissistic parents love this stage because toddlers are compliant, obedient, and completely dependent on them for their every need. The child's dependence serves as a grand validation and a source of emotional supply for the narcissistic parent. However, as the child begins to develop their own personality and becomes more independent, the true nature of the narcissistic parent begins to reveal itself. In summary, narcissistic parents exhibit a lack of genuine love for their children. Based on my personal experience with both parents being narcissists, I can affirm that I have never felt true and unconditional parental love. The relationship was dysfunctional on both sides, with children being treated as objects, extensions of the parent's ego, and pawns in their games. Any form of uniqueness or individuality is disregarded and ridiculed. Narcissists aim to break down and suppress your developing identity until it is erased. That concludes today's episode. I hope you found it enlightening. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to share this discussion with others. I'll be back soon with another topic. Until then, let the heaving process begin and continue.